we try to discuss the resistivity of different materials okay so so resistivity of different materials of different materials okay and okay and we have we have first of all the conductors right they are they, they are called conductors for the sole reason that their their conductivities are very high correct so so correspondingly correspondingly so we are talking about the resistivities right and what is resistivity resistivity is 1 upon conductivity or, or, or you can say 1 upon rho is conductivity correct in a similar manner resistance the, 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 the reciprocal of resistance is conductance okay it is conductance so so conductors they have very small resistivity okay so and and what are some typical values so for example if i if i talk about if i talk about say say silver a very good conductor its conductivity is is 1. Point, its its resistivity is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 8 and and what is the what is the unit of resistivity whenever you want unit of something say resistivity you try to define a relation between that right some some formula that relates resistivity with something else and one such formula is r is equal to rho l upon a that we have seen in previous video so so rho becomes what that is equal to r into a upon l now r r r unit for r is ohm and here it is meter square upon meter so it is it is it is meter so so the unit of resistivity is is ohm meter right ohm into meter so for example copper copper the resistivity is 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 about 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 8 or meter no one is asking you to remember these normally normally we put a dash here right? that shows multiplication or, or you can put a dot as well that's not matter so so copper no no one is asking you to remember these values because uh, you, you, they'll be given when you are asked to maybe calculate resistance for given dimensions they will be specified what we have to keep in mind is 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 the order of the resistivity we should have in mind so it's of the order 10 to the power minus 8 right so and as we go ahead as we go ahead you'll find say say iron okay say iron having a resistivity of of 10 into 10 to the power minus minus 8 okay so for the same dimension that is for the same l upon a the a piece of silver and a piece of iron the resistivity of iron is approx the resistance of iron will be approximately six times that of silver 1.6 into 6 is approximately 9.6 that is approximately 10 so let's say maybe another 0.2 so 6.25 times silver right that's what the difference is and that's a huge difference right then we deliberately have to raise resistivity somewhere resistance is somewhere for example in 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 an iron or in a in a in a geyser the elements that that are made are of nichrome Nichrome is an alloy of, of nickel and chromium, obviously uh, with iron, with iron, and its its resistivity is of the order of hundred approximately equal to hundred into ten to the power minus eight. Right? So that's about ten times that of iron, right? And 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 then we have a, a class of materials, they are called semiconductors. All this communication and computational revolution 
semi semiconductors semi conductors right that has taken place due to due to the semiconductors so all those diodes and transistors that we have in computers even the computer on which i am recording they are due to due to semiconductors we'll go in a lot of detail of this when we do the semiconductor devices which happens to be the second last chapter but but for a semiconductor uh, carbon okay so so carbon or graphite so carbon the the resistivity is of the order of 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 so so the resistivity jumps by an order of 10 to the power 4 approximately here then we have a very very important semiconductor called called germanium germanium right it's it's resistivity is about 0.46 okay silicon silicon the resistivity is 2300 okay seems to be quite high but only as long as we have not seen the next class of of materials they are called insulators okay so insulators okay Insulators have a whopping, whopping resistivities of of the order of say say 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 16. So pure water has a resistivity of of 2.5 into 10 to the power 5. Obviously, obviously all of these will have a unit of ohm meters, right? And, and glass, glass is an amorphous solid, okay, so its resistivity varies from 10 to the power 10 to about 10 to the power 14, obviously or meters, right, and hard rubber, so, so hard rubber is, is, is something like, this, this goes from 10 to the power 13 to 10 to the power 16 okay oh meters so so the surface on which the electricians stand and and repair some 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 say some electric gadgets they are the the repairing of electric gadgets say say there is an electric board here so that is normally done standing on on a thick rubber mat the reason is is it, they are almost insulated so so if accidentally you you happen to touch some live wire out here the the current does not flow through here and and you're safe it's not fatty okay also while working we prefer to wear rubber gloves so so this rubber mat and and rubber gloves are 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 very good safety equipments right okay fine now we'll see why this happens that we'll do in the next video